So, in this lecture we will look at uh, or we will work out a few examples involving uh, flow of uh, steam uh, through a nozzle. Uh, the first example reads like this, a steam at a pressure of 600 kPa and a dryness fraction 0 0.9 in a steam chest expands through a conversion nozzle having a throat area of 0 0.002 meter square into a region maintained at A 400 kPa and B 300 kPa. In each case determine the exit pressure, exit velocity and the mass flow rate. Okay, so, with the given information of um, uh, P naught equal to 600 kPa and uh, X equal to 0 0.9, uh, we can get uh, the specific volume at the stagnation state to be V0 equal to 0.2845 S0 and S0 equal to 6.2771 from the steam table. Okay. Now, x1 is given to be 0 0.9, so that means the uh, index of expansion. So, index of expansion is going to be 1.035 times, I am sorry, plus 0 0.1 times x1. So, 1.035 plus 0 0.1 times 0 0.9 and this comes out to be 1.125. So, the index of expansion is 1.125 and P star may be evaluated uh, uh, using the expression that was given earlier. You may recall that uh, P star is equal to 2 over n plus 1 raised to the power n over n minus 1. So, uh, for this value of n, P star is equal to 347.7 kilo Pascal. Since uh, now for case A, since the um, uh, given ambient pressure is greater than the uh, uh, the uh, the sonic state, uh, I mean the pressure corresponding to sonic state at the exit of the nozzle, the flow is not choked, and the exit pressure PE is the same as the uh, ambient pressure. Okay, so this is very important. Uh, we need to evaluate P star in the case of a conversion nozzle. Definitely, we need to evaluate P star, compare that with the ambient pressure, and then determine whether the nozzle is choked or not. So, uh, since the nozzle is not choked, the flow at the exit of the nozzle is subsonic, which means the exit pressure is equal to the ambient pressure. So, uh, we may evaluate the um, uh, specific volume at exit using this expression. And the enthalpy drop between the stagnation uh, chamber and the exit may be evaluated using the expression that we derived before <coughs> like this. All the values on the right hand side are known. So, we get the velocity to be velocity at the exit to be uh, 368 meter per second. And um, the mass flow rate uh, through the nozzle uh, may be evaluated since the area at the exit is given, mass flow rate may be evaluated using this expression m dot equal to a e times v e divided by specific volume at exit and it comes out to be 1.804 kg per second. Now, the same analysis uh, can also be done uh, in a um, uh, couple of different ways. One is using the Mollier chart, which I am not going to present, but the other one is to simply continue to use the steam tables. For example, uh, we can do something like this. So, let us say that this is a TS diagram. Okay, so, so, the stagnation pressure is given uh, given to be 600 kPa and the dryness fraction is uh, 0 0.9. So, this we can label as state 0. So, dryness fraction is 0 0.9, right. So, now the steam uh, undergoes isentropic expansion. The final pressure alone is not known, okay. So, uh, once we uh, know the final pressure, I am sorry. So, once we know the final pressure 347, uh, I am sorry 400 kilo Pascal or we need to determine the exit pressure. For that alone we need to know the index of expansion. For all the other things um, uh, we can use either the expressions that we derived earlier or the steam table can be used. Okay? So, for determining the uh, value of P star alone at least in the case of conversion nozzle we need to uh, even in the case of divergent nozzle also, convergent divergent also, we need to determine the uh, value for P star using the expression that we derived before, this expression here that we derived before. Okay? For that alone, we require the value of n.
ok. So, once we uh, make the determination that P e is 400 kilo Pascal, the steam undergoes isentropic expansion to an exit state E like this uh, 400 kilo Pascal and the, the uh, entropy specific entropy S0 is known. So, S e equal to S0. So, using this uh, value and the fact that the pressure is known, the dryness fraction at the exit may be evaluated. So, uh, so with um, uh, these two uh, pairs of uh, properties P e comma S e, we may determine X e and H e. So, from which uh, we may evaluate H 0 minus H e and uh, V can also be calculated, V e may be calculated uh, using the expression that is given here. So, for calculating P star alone we require the value of n. Okay, let us go to uh, case B. In this case the ambient pressure is less than the critical value. Okay. So, <clears throat> so the region uh, or the ambient pressure is 300 kilo Pascal which is less than the critical value of uh, 347.7 uh, kilo Pascal. So, the nozzle is choked and the exit pressure P e is equal to P star. So, using these expressions we may evaluate uh, the enthalpy drop from which we can calculate the exit velocity as 425 meter per second. The specific volume may also be evaluated in the same manner and the mass flow rate in this case comes out to be 1.84 kg per second. So, this is the maximum mass flow rate that the nozzle can pass provided we are adjusting the, uh, the mass flow rate by changing the downstream pressure. Now, notice that since the nozzle is choked uh, in this case, the exit velocity may be calculated either by using the enthalpy drop or by using the fact that the exit velocity is equal to the speed of sound. So, I may also use this expression square root of n times p exit times v exit to calculate the exit velocity which again comes out to be the same 425 meter per second. Alternately, I may uh, evaluate for this case also. So, let me just extend this. So, for this case also, so this pressure would become 347.7 kilo Pascal and the exit state would be equal to this. So, we follow the same procedure as before to evaluate. So, P e is known, uh, S e is known, X e may be evaluated, enthalpy at exit, enthalpy drop and then exit velocity. The advantage with this approach is that you do not have to uh, remember any of these expressions. The only expression that you need to remember would be this one here, the expression for P star. So, apart from this, of course, N also has to be calculated, but uh, this is based on, this procedure is based on whatever you have uh, learned already in the first level course itself actually as a matter of fact. So, it would be relatively straightforward, you know, there is not uh, too many things that are different from uh, before. Of course, remember this expression itself comes from SFEE, right? So, nothing new there also. But I um, uh, leave it up to you to decide which uh, method you want to use because the third method which I have not discussed here is the one that uses the Molier chart. So, the, there um, uh, you can do all these things. So, looking up, uh, so locating the state in the Molier chart is, as, um, is the same as what we do with the TS diagram. You can look up the value of Xe, enthalpy can be uh, located, uh, retrieved directly from the Molier chart and so on. Once that is available, you can calculate the rest of the quantities. Let us go to the next example. Dry saturated steam enters a convergent nozzle at a static pressure of 500 kPa and is expanded to 300 kPa. So, the exit pressure is given. If the inlet and throat diameters are 0 0.05 and 0 0.025 meters respectively, determine the velocity at the inlet and the exit and the stagnation pressure. So, a TS diagram for uh, this case would look like this. 
this is 500 kappa, 300 kappa, so dry saturated steam, so this is state 1 is expanded, so this is uh, the exit state E. So, uh, given that uh, P1 equal to 500 kappa and the steam is uh, saturated vapor, we may retrieve the following values V1, H1 and S1 from the steam table. The uh, index of expansion may also be calculated using Zuno's formula as 1.135. Now, in this particular problem, the question of uh, determining uh, P star does not arise because the exit pressure is given to us. Okay? So, we do not have to uh, do that. So, if you proceed in, uh, in this manner, then you can evaluate the exit specific volume using this expression. The enthalpy drop may be evaluated using this expression, which is equal to V e square minus V 1 square over 2. And mass flow rates at the inlet and exit are the same. So, we may relate V 1 and V e like this. So, if you plug this into uh, uh, this expression, we may evaluate uh, exit velocity as 436.6 meter per second. And so, it follows that the inlet velocity is 69.6 meter per second. Notice that in this case, the problem statement, uh, it is not given that the steam is expanded from a steam chest. In fact, we are asked to determine uh, the uh, inlet uh, velocity as well as the inlet stagnation pressure. So, which means that the velocity at the inlet to the conversion nozzle is finite and not equal to 0. Now, the speed of sound at the exit may be evaluated to be uh, 447.4 using the expression uh, square root of uh, n times uh, P e times V e. So, we may evaluate the stagnation enthalpy. Uh, since the inlet velocity is known, inlet uh, specific enthalpy is also known, we may evaluate uh, the stagnation enthalpy like this and uh, S 0 is also known because uh, the stagnation process is a uh, it is an isotropic process. So, we go up like this. So, this is state 0. So, H 0 is known, S 0 is known with these two uh, property values, we can get the stagnation pressure to be 507 kilo Pascal from the steam table. Now, for this value of P 0, once we have P 0 uh, using the uh, expression that we uh, derived earlier, this one, we may evaluate P star to be 294 kilo Pascal. So, the given exit pressure is higher than this value confirming that uh, the flow is not choked. The next example and it is like this steam at 700 kappa 250 degree Celsius in a steam chest expands through a nozzle to a final pressure of 100 kappa. Mass flow rate is 0 0.076 kg per second. Determine if the nozzle is convergent or convergent divergent, the throat diameter, exit diameter, the dryness fraction at the exit. Assume the expansion process to be isentropic and in equilibrium throughout. Okay. So, since pressure and temperature are given, we know that the steam in the chest is uh, superheated and we may retrieve these uh, property values from the, uh, from the uh, table. Since the steam is initially superheated, the index of expansion is 1.3. <coughs> and the um, uh, critical pressure in this case uh, is 380 kilo Pascal. Since the steam is expanded to a final pressure of 100 kilo Pascal, uh, this means that the nozzle has to be convergent divergent. Remember, when it is said that uh, the steam is expanded to a final pressure, that means that is the pressure with which the steam leaves the nozzle, that is the exit pressure. So, the exit pressure is given. Okay? So, since the exit pressure is 100 kilo Pascal and the critical pressure is 380, that means that the fluid undergoes further expansion in the nozzle. So, if we were to sketch the uh, situation, it would look something like this.
So, the stagnation pressure here is 700 kPa. So, the critical pressure P star is equal to 380 kPa. Now, the steam is expanded to a final pressure of 100 kilo Pascal. So, that means that uh, the, uh, for the further expansion to be possible in this case, the nozzle has to be a convergent divergent nozzle. So, that P e is equal to 100 kPa. It cannot be expanded in a convergent nozzle beyond a pressure of 380 kPa. For the given stagnation pressure, it cannot be expanded in a convergent nozzle beyond 380 kPa. That is very important. In fact, that is uh, something that we have said here also. Okay? So, in this case, again uh, it is given that the nozzle, I am sorry, the steam is expanded to a pressure of 300 kilo Pascal. Okay? The critical pressure is uh, 294 kilo Pascal. So, we, it means that this means that the flow can be expanded in the conversion nozzle itself and the flow is not uh, choked at the exit. The flow does not become choked until the exit pressure reaches this value for the given value of stagnation pressure. So, the same uh, logic is applicable here as well. So, we infer from this that the nozzle is convergent divergent. So, with n equal to 1.3, uh, we may evaluate uh, V star equal to this. Now, this assumes that the flow is superheated uh, at the throat. The steam is, I am sorry, the steam is superheated at the throat. So, we may evaluate uh, V star uh, and the velocity at the throat which is equal to the speed of sound and the throat area to be uh, this from the given mass flow rate. So, the mass flow rate is given as 0 0.076 kg per second. So, from the given mass flow rate, we may evaluate the throat area and, and hence the throat diameter like this. Now, you have to remember uh, in this case, so the steam is, I am sorry, the steam is initially superheated 700 kilo Pascal. state 0, 700 kilo Pascal and 250 degree Celsius. So, the steam now expands isentropically to a final pressure hundred kPa. This is the exit state expansion is isentropic. Um, the sonic state is somewhere here that has been assumed and we have proceeded with our analysis based on that. So, this is the point where the, um, uh, the process line crosses the saturated vapor line. Let us label this as G. Let me use a slightly different color for this. So, that is the uh, point at which or pressure at which the process line crosses the saturated vapor line. And that the pressure there may be evaluated uh, simply by using the fact that Sg is equal to uh, S0. And if you go to the table with this value of uh, Sg, you may, uh, you should be able to uh, retrieve the fact that Pg is equal to 212 kPa. So, the enthalpy drop from the stagnation state up to this uh, state takes place in the superheated region. So, we may evaluate uh, the enthalpy drop for this part of the process, the specific volume at uh, G and then calculate the velocity um, uh, at this point when it crosses uh, uh, into the two phase region to be 701.14 meter per second. Now, remember we evaluated P star. Uh, to be 380 kilo Pascal 
and since Pg is 212 kilopascal, our assumption that uh, the flow is superheated uh, uh, at the throat is actually valid. So, this is 380. So, once the flow crosses the saturated vapor line, N is equal to 1.135. Okay, so, now we consider expansion from state G to state E. So, the enthalpy drop uh, between HG and HE may be evaluated like this. And the specific volume at exit may also be evaluated like this, but uh, V E now has to be evaluated uh, with a slightly different expression. Uh, this we obtain from steady flow energy equation okay? because the velocity is uh, finite and actually quite high at uh, state G and so V exit may has to be evaluated like this and it comes out to be 864 meter per second. And using the given mass flow rate we may evaluate the exit diameter to be 13.5 mm. Now, we know V e, we know P e, so we may evaluate the dryness fraction at the exit to be 0 0.96 uh, from the steam table or we can uh, alternatively if you uh, wish to use the um, uh, steam tables for the analysis, you may uh, proceed in the same manner as before. So, um, uh, S0, H0 and V0 are all known from the given stagnation state. Okay, so, uh, we can then um, uh, exit pressure is given. So, with the given value, so S e is equal to S 0. P is also known. So, with these two uh, property values, we may evaluate uh, X e H e and the specific volume V e and then the exit uh, velocity V e may be evaluated using the enthalpy drop from 0 to E and we may also evaluate uh, the uh, exit diameter using the given mass flow rate. However, uh, for evaluating the throat diameter, we need to uh, uh, use, uh, we need to calculate the, uh, uh, the value for P star and then evaluate in the same manner uh, the velocity and other properties there. So, you may use uh, steam tables to do this calculation or you may also use this expression, both are equ equally acceptable. Only thing is um, for evaluating P star, you need to use the expression that we have derived before. So, in this case, if you do that, then with um, uh, P star known and S star also known, remember S star is equal to, uh, so P star is known, S star equal to S0 is also known. So, from this, we can then evaluate um, using these two uh, properties, since it is still in the superheated region, uh, quantities such as H star uh, and uh, V star may be evaluated from the superheated tables. So, once H star is known, using the enthalpy drop from H0 to H star, V star may be evaluated. And uh, once the specific volume is known and the mass flow rate is given, the throat diameter may also be evaluated. Okay, let us see uh, how this is done. So, from the given steam chest condition, we may evaluate H0 and S0. Pressure at the throat alone has to be uh, evaluated using the expression that we gave before and after assuming that P star or the, the fluid, I am sorry, the steam is still superheated at the throat section. Okay. So, we get P star to be 380. So, S star is equal to S naught. And with the pressure and, uh, and uh, S star, uh, we can go to the table and retrieve V star and H star. Okay? So, the velocity at the throat may be evaluated from SFE using this expression and the throat diameter may be evaluated using the fact that V star 
is uh, known, uh, we have retrieved it from the steam table, right? V star has been retrieved from the uh, steam table. So, the throat diameter may be evaluated. Now, exit pressure is known, exit, uh, I mean specific enthalpy at the exit uh, is also known and the fluid at the exit is a saturated mixture. So, the dryness fraction Xe may be evaluated as 0.96 from which we can get He and Ve from the steam table. And so, we may now evaluate Ve uh, for based on the enthalpy drop, bet, uh, drop between uh, state 0 and state E and similarly for the exit diameter. So, I find that in class many students actually uh, like uh, to use the tables for doing the calculations because they are very comfortable using the tables. And the only expression that you have to remember is the one for evaluating n and the one for evaluating p star. So, once you, uh, you have to remember only those two expressions. Once you know those two, everything else can be done either using the table or using the Molier chart. So, um, uh, this concludes um, uh, not only this module, but also the uh, course. Uh, I uh, hope that you found the lectures to be useful uh, and, and it improved your understanding, uh, hopefully to a great extent, at least you know to a small extent. And if you have any feedback, please feel free to communicate them to me uh, through the NPTEL site. Thank you.